I'm I'm uh, Jerry Pollock, uh, and I'm now speaking to you from Seattle, uh, Washington. And I want to uh, alert you to the fact that I will be speaking at a forthcoming symposium. And, and the title of my talk is, is um, The Fourth Phase of Water. Uh, no, it's Earthquakes, Volcanoes, and the Fourth Phase of Water. And I, I hope to, um, to let you know or to convince you that the fourth phase of water is in fact related. Um, it plays a big role um, in earthquakes and volcanoes. And I'm not sure if you know about, about the fourth phase of, uh, of water. It's an ordered phase of water. And, and actually, you know, it's the phase of water that fills your body. Um, and the way you can tell, by the way, um, is, is very simple. You know, most people think that our bodies are filled, filled with ordinary liquid water. But the way you can determine that it's not liquid water, that it's fourth phase water, is very simple and maybe something that will appeal to the Japanese culture. And that is take a really sharp Japanese knife and cut yourself. Now, when you cut yourself with a knife, a really sharp knife, so you go pretty, pretty deeply in, in your arm, if you're filled with liquid water, the liquid water would come pouring out like a broken pipe. But it doesn't, right? Even with a dull American knife, it doesn't do that either. But the sharp Japanese knife, and the reason is that the water is not liquid water. The water is actually easy water, and easy water uh, I'll be talking about it and e e explaining it, but it's um, it's a a, a gel-like uh, water, and it sticks to the inside of your cells. It sticks to the solids inside your cells, so that when you cut yourself, it still sticks and it doesn't it doesn't come out. But I want to tell you um, uh, in in this seminar that I'll be presenting, I want to tell you more um, about that and more about the rather universal application uh, of this in nature. And I know in, in Japan, um, uh, volcanoes and earthquakes are, are pretty common. So maybe there's a fair amount of interest. And the question arises, the question always arises, where does the energy come from? You know, so many people think the, well, the energy comes from the, the, the center of the earth. But if it comes from inside the earth, you might expect that after after a few million years, or certainly after a few billion years, um, the Earth's going to run out of energy, and we'd have no earthquakes and no volcanoes. But the earthquakes and volcanoes seem to be increasing, uh, or at least remaining at a steady frequency. Many people think they're increasing. And, and so where does the energy come from? And I'd like to suggest to you that the energy may actually come from water. And I know this is something that you uh, might not have thought of, but easy water contains a lot of energy. And, and we have evidence that it provides uh, energy for your body because it fills your body. But I want to discuss with you uh, the possibility that this kind of energy that's contained in easy water can be released and released mechanically uh, in the form of earthquakes, uh, uh, where, where, where somehow the two plates are pushed apart and then they can move, and also in volcanoes, where the eruptions not only, not only contain a, a lot of uh, moisture uh, in them, but also, if you look carefully, you can see lightning which means there is a lot of electrical charge that uh, is involved. Anyway, that's what I'll be talking about. And, and the date is on the emperor's birthday. Um, um, and the emperor's birthday, I think, is February 20, uh, uh, 23rd. February 23rd. Got it. February 23rd. And I would welcome you um, uh, to, to listen. It's, it's going to be a three-hour seminar. And it's going to be translated from English to Japanese. Uh, my Japanese is not good enough, <laughs> what little of it there is. And I'd be delighted and thrilled uh, to see you. I, I've, I've been to um, Japan many times, maybe more than 40 times. And um, in the office, Emoto also uh, many times. So it's my great pleasure. I'm sorry I can't be there at this time, but I'll be there through Zoom. And I extend a warm welcome to all of you uh, to tune in. Um, 
I think that's what I have to say. And uh, thank you very much.